Now bowl. And the dirt ball. Ball. That's just too easy for Ball. Once he gets the right position, his focus there is on the finish. And really, few guys in the league are more unique than Bobo. Has length for days, but needs to add a tremendous amount of strength to guard his natural position. Knocked loose. Abdul Jabbar with it. Yao picks him up. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That's his first foul. Ball with it. No good on that one. Good work defensively by Yao. And talking about Bull Bull, his dad, Manute Bull, was known for his defense. Uh, that is not the case for his son. <laughs> well, they're two completely different types of players. Bull Bull's game is about skill. He can handle, he can shoot. And for someone who's seven foot two, he's a tremendous playmaker. Leonard attacking. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on LeBron James. So smooth. The little pump fake, get the defender in the air. As if Leonard wasn't hard enough to cover, he's adding that to his game. And maybe the biggest story of this summer, where would Kawhi Leonard be headed in free agency? A, a player of his caliber commands that kind of media scrutiny. Shot clock at six. Here's Ball, off target from three-point range. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Here's Yao. From deep three-point range, they get it again. Durant. And then Durant with the dunk. Well, rebounding is about positioning, but for KD, a lot of times it's his timing and his length. So he goes in there and uses those to great effect. Yep, that one goes in there. Greg, you talk about the media focus for Kawhi Leonard. Not exactly something he embraces. Not at all. As a kid on his birthdays, he'd shudder himself in his room because he didn't want the attention. To this day, he lets his play do the talk just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter there's the three unable to get that one and Atlanta will come the other way well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track on deep Atlanta with the rebound you can see the frustration in the quarter on his face, especially with his team trailer. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Here's Ball following the three by Atlanta. And Ball slams it in. Gives the team such a great element having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. And here is Ball. Kawhi Leonard getting his three to go. The kick out to Adetokounmpo. In the corner, Ball with it. Back to Adetokounmpo. And the slam dunk by Adetokounmpo. You know how you want to tell people don't let Giannis get too close? Well, one step past half court, he's too close. 
and stolen by Bull. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. KD with it. And Abdul Jabbar picks him up defensively. And the dunk by Giannis. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Ball feeling it out a bit. To the inside. Stolen by Durant. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. And it's Leonard with the jam. A phenomenal basketball instincts by Durant. Picks that one clean and then sends it the other way. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Here's Ball. No good with the triple. And we reach the end of the first quarter. It's Atlanta up by five. And the second quarter about to get started. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And when you consider how Atlanta is doing, your thoughts? Well, pounding the boards is one way to gain an advantage. They simply owned the glass in that first. Well, if you get physical out there, you can control the glass, and that helps you to control the pace of the game. A shot by Reddish, no good. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up, so maybe just a step too far. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. And he dunks it down. And passes like that demonstrate the winning mindset Simmons has. A guy that wants to get his team involved. And when he gets ahead of steam, you almost feel sorry for defenders. Ben Simmons, a combination of size, speed, and ball handling that can, at times, be unstoppable. Now, here's Durant. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And then Durant with the jam. I like to see KD when he just elongates like that, gets all the way up to the rim for an easy throwdown. And with his passing and driving ability, Greg, Simmons is like combining a, a power running back in football with a pinpoint passing quarterback. Uh, not much he can't do. Kevin, a football metaphor is appropriate. Simmons grew up playing Australian rules football, and the physicality and quick thinking of that sport really reflected in his style of play. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. The wide open look for Durant. Steps back and drains the jump shot. His ability to pull up off the dribble should be illegal for a near seven-footer. Durant showing exceptional body control there. Raja. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. And here's Miller outside. Rebound Atlanta. Outside Odom. Here's Raja. Out to Porzingis. Beyond the arc. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. A nice shot by Katie. Now this story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. From deep three-point range, a shot by Odom, no good. And here's KD for three. It's good from long range. KD's got nine points in the quarter. 
How quick was that trigger there? Durant gets it off so fast, and there's not much you can do with where he shoots it from. The kick out to Odom, and Curry has it in the corner. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. And Durant gets it to go. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. From deep. That does not fall. Still looking for his first basket after three shots. There's 45 seconds left now here in the second. Pass to Miller. Just five on the clock. And here is Isaac. Good on the triple. Yeah, and he's got a quiet confidence about him, doesn't he, guys? I mean, he, he's thinking about shooting the ball as the pass is coming. Shot and game clock separated by five. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. And here is Simmons. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And the wide-open shot. For and it is good at the buzzer. Wow. And so. It's Atlanta with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They've done a lot of great work from long range. And we'll be back with you shortly. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. And the impact that Porzingis can have on the defensive end, Greg, cannot be overstated. Uh, the reach and leaping ability he has paired with his timing make him a premier rim protector. And, and what sets him over the top really is that fearlessness. He will challenge anyone and everyone at the rim. Here's Ball. And a miss there on the triple. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yao with the block. And you have to appreciate the reach of me. Superb at putting himself in a good position there to block the shot. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Oh, no goodness. And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair in a close game the important thing is to get the two points not necessarily the dramatic oh come on he had to go for that <laughs> didn't he my goodness <laughs> not been an easy start three straight misses here on these possessions now ball james outside ball with it Buries the long-range jumper. Ball's got seven points in the game. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. A jump hook. Good work there as it goes. He has five. Well, there it is. 0 of 3 to start the half, and finally, something finds its way through the net. Inside, Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. So you're going to give AD that kind of room? Well, here's the payoff for that. How's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. Oh, why dunk you very much? <laughs> he, can, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. Ball. And it's blocked. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ball.
Hill deciding where to go with it. Six on the shot clock. Here's Davis. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just... the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. Both teams making substitutions here. Atlanta leading by three. Outside Durant to the middle. It's stolen by Davis. And there's the call on Yao. That's his first foul. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's Isaac. Defensively, though, much improved here in the second half. They've limited the open looks, making them work for everything. Well, we keep talking a lot about Anthony Davis and the fact that when he was a young player, he played the point guard position and then all of a sudden grew like 60 inches <laughs> to play center position. Uh, you see that skill set show up now and again, but really what you're seeing now about AD is his maturity in the game, finding spots on the floor where he can absolutely be dominant and control any kind of offensive possession from wherever he is on the floor. It's tipped. And that's going to be out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, I appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. And at Kentucky, uh, Davis mostly an interior player, but he maintained Brent all along. He was capable of more than he showed in college. Uh, there's no question about his skill set and in the NBA, the opportunity, along with the transition of the NBA game. And wow, hammering it in! Oh. Anthony Davis showing those young AD skills as a point guard. KD looking around. Back to Odom. And the foul called on Anthony Davis. That is his first foul of the game. And Atlanta will go for a different look here. And he stepped in the line, so they turn it over. And timeout called by Nick timeout. Nurse. Timeout. Starting. One seconds left to play in the third. Guy is a potent offense right now. You know what, guys? And they're playing with a certain amount of assuredness in their game. That type of confidence is what leads teams to having success. The first one falls. And so he hits both. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Here's Ball. And the rejection by Adekumbo. Now you go in there weak like that, and a guy like Giannis with his length is going to throw it away. And timeout called by Nick Nurse. 
And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. You gotta feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments, pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. Simmons. He's got seven. Pass to Davis. We've got 28 seconds left in the third quarter. Five to shoot. Down low. Here's Durant. Up again. Reddish grabs the rebound. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Here's Raja. But they'll get another chance. And it's off the back rim. No good. And he makes the first. And he makes both free throws. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. The Atlanta shooting their third and fourth free throw shot to the night. First free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Good if it goes. And no good on the last second attempt this time. Shots keep. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Here's Simmons. And Curry pulls it down. How about the timing? He shows there to challenge that shot. Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Yeah, you, you got to push Isaac out of the paint. Once he's got that position, he is going to be all over the rim. Pass to Reddish. Paul with a wide open look. Out to the wing. Here's Raja. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. One on one here. Here's Ball. And Ball slams it in. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. And how about the sequence in its entirety? Momentum swing and you love the effort here. Yeah, the quickness, the size, and the speed of Simmons really breathtaking, especially when he's dribbling the rock. There's the triple. Drains it from beyond the arc. And 11 points for Cam Reddish. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. The try by Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. What breathtaking quickness by Simmons. So good at blowing by whoever is brave enough to try to take him on. That's a tough rebound if you don't have the length that he does. So the size paying off. Outside, Davis. Simmons on the wing. Shot clock at five. Three-pointer. Simmons missing again. The Atlanta trails by five. Ball feeling it out a bit. 
to the paint. Here's Brunja. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Nice there, getting the reverse. Love that. And, and the fans got a little bit of a show there. Guys, that one definitely had a little something extra on it. Durant trying to break free. And that one's good, Simmons. Yeah, just great. Whenever Simmons takes over a possession like that, what a killer instinct. Back to ball. And stolen by Simmons. Here's KD. Pushing it up. And the turnover again by Atlanta. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. teams will make substitutions. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey guys, during the last time out I listened to Nick Nurse talk to his team. He said, guys, we don't want to play hero ball. We don't want to take threes that aren't there. There are better options when you run the offense all the way through. Kevin will see if they can make that adjustment. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Yao. And Kawhi Leonard gets the slam. And who do you call when you need a big bucket for this team more and more? It's Kawhi. Here's Bull. Rebound Atlanta. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. James. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Yeah, oh, that's good. And you got to appreciate the skill set Ming brings to the table. Knows no one can match up against him and simply lofting these inside shots up and in. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And they had a foul to give, but you want to use it on the ground. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a five-point game. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. Shoots it. Got it! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. With a great intensity here down the stretch. He's not one to shrink in the moment. I'll take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. Outside Odom. To the left side wing. It's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the rebound. And now they decide to foul intentionally. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And you're talking about one of the most decorated superstars in the history of college basketball. But maybe the most impressive feat, he won three national championships, and Kareem has a way of affecting winning. Now, here's Anadokounmpo. Pass the ball. From deep three-point range, can't connect. Well, the 
fire inside of KD, wanting to be his best in every phase of the game, including the defensive end. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you, but they stood tall and pulled it out. Well said. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So for David Aldridge... Thank you.